Hey guys, welcome back uh, to, to part 3 of this uh, tutorial series where we learn to make the uh, HDA inside Houdini. Uh, okay, so in the last uh, last part, uh, this is where we um, com completed making this uh, grass blades. They are, they are like bending up, bending outside, uh, uh, bending um, outwards. Uh, and we uh, we were able to make uh, some uh, some randomized rotation on them. So that is that is where we uh, stopped last time. So this time, what we're going to do is we will uh, learn how to uh, get a get random uh, random scale values on these uh, grass uh, grass blades uh, based on an attribute. <coughs> so we'll have to do it in uh, two. Two steps. So the first uh, first step is to see uh, see what this uh, attribute uh, randomization will uh, will look like. Um, so I will go into this uh, this attribute transfer node here. Now uh, now we can see only points. Now just by seeing the points, you won't be able to understand what is actually going on. So I will go to uh, the top viewport and just hide the grid. And also go into uh, display options and change the background to dark. So we will just uh, switch between dark background and also light background, depending on the uh, on, on what we need to see on the viewport. Um, so right now uh, we don't see any uh, any uh, point numbers. So I'm going to go into uh, enable the display points. Uh, now we can see them in in light blue. And also enable point numbers. <coughs> so we need to uh, make sure to, uh, to 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 activate these two to understand what's actually going on. So what we are trying to do here is to get a uh, get a ran randomized uh, um, uh, scale value. Uh, but it is not like just just random scale. So what we are trying 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 to do is to make the middle grass. Uh, I mean the grass plates in the middle uh, taller. And the grass blades at the uh, at the edges, like when they uh, when they go go outward, like there'll be kind of a gradient. So it will just get get smaller towards the outside. Uh, we will have a separate control on uh, on height adjustment for uh, for these two. So <coughs> so uh, excuse me. So uh, so first of all, we need to um, use an SOP. Uh, so SOP is, uh, is, a, is a is a short form for surface operator. Uh, we need to use a sort operator. So it's like S O R T. So when you, when you type in sort, you get this sort operator. Um, sort operator is like what it does is here you will have a control on on getting this uh, a gradient. So so by gradient, uh, I will I will show you what I mean. Select this uh, sort, and there is a uh, there is a point sort option here. So right, right now it is it is saying no no change, but open this menu and change to proximity to point. So the 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 moment you switch that to po proximity to point, what will happen is you can see a point here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it clearly. So it's, it's a dark blue. Now the the points that that are close to this uh, dark blue point will be the 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 lowest in number. And when they go away from it, the, the number increases. So here it is zero, one, then two is here, three is here. So if you if you imagine a circle around this point, uh, so the so when the radius increases, then the the number also increases. That is what I mean by gradient. Now if I turn this off, no change, you will see uh, the the numbers switching. So zero is like out here. Now when I change to um, the proximity to point zero goes towards the inside. Okay, so that is the <coughs> basic idea for this. So, so the next ne next thing we need to do, uh, do, do is after this. Uh, now we can go to the perspective report. Uh, now the next step is to uh, is to create an attribute wrangle. Attribute. Uh, so this W R A N G L E. So attribute triangle. So this is where uh, you can um, enter a a vex 
uh, VEX code. So that is a code that is uh, that is used in in Houdini uh, to make uh, different different types of uh, FX. Uh, so you don't you don't you don't have to learn learn VEX, but if you know VEX, that's a big advantage. So so what kind of VEX code we'll be u using here? So everything else is good points guest from group everything you can just keep keep them uh, the same um, uh, the uh, the the vex code you have to use here uh, i'll be mentioned in the in the uh, in the video descriptions so it'll be easy for you to just copy and paste um, so i just pasted it here <coughs> so so this is the uh, vex vex code so just we just copy it control c and then paste it here control v so what this does is, it takes this um, this this name grass, and <coughs> and, uh, and 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 get, and gives it a value that is like a, a gradient that that goes from this point outwards. Um, so after after you uh, after you assign this uh, vex script, uh, next thing you need to do uh, do is to add uh, another uh, another node called. Uh, an attribute adjust float attribute adjust float so so once you add this once you add the attribute uh, adjust float you have to define what kind of attribute you want to change so here um, here in Houdini all kinds of scale uh, operations are handled by an attribute called p scale so p scale is a uh, is a it's a, it's a gen generic term that would be i mean it's a generic term used for attributes that that control uh the the scale uh, same thing uh, there is a uh, attribute that controls colors it's called cd uh, so we use p scale here and under this operation uh, changes to set always and pattern type uh, re remap attribute so we are going to re remap this this p scale attribute to a source attribute so so, so source source attribute is here uh, we gave it as grass so where did i get this grass so this grass is actually in this attribute triangle so here it is like f at grass so this is the attribute we need to uh, uh, we need to assign here okay <coughs> now after after this step uh, you just connect this to the copy to points now when i start cop copy to points you can see that uh, it is actually working so if you look at if you look here uh, the all the graphs that is that is going outwards are smaller when you compare with the one that are in the middle so 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 this this is what i meant by a gradient so i'll just turn on this um, uh, display changes to light, light and turn on the grid so I can see it like very clearly now. So the grass is like this. This grass is like really small. So if you look at the point numbers, oh no, no, that's a little bit too much. So if you if you look at the point po point numbers right here, so this grass might be. I mean this uh, this 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 point will be the outermost. So it is number seven. Is there anything else that is like a uh, num number that is higher than seven? No. So seven is the highest. That's why that grass is the uh, is the smallest in this case. Okay. So now we need to adjust the uh, the range. Now it is going from zero to one. So that's why you are seeing so much of uh, height difference. We don't need that. Um, so for uh, to to adjust that, you need to go into um, attribute adjust float and then adjust this minimum value and maximum value so this minimum value you can just keep it as around uh, maybe around uh, point uh, maybe 0.75 so that the 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 outer grass will be uh let me not be that that small when you compare with the other one now if you want it to be smaller than this just adjust this value to maybe 0.5 so you get smaller grass at the uh, at the outer tips okay so this is uh, the uh, this is what I mean by the uh, scale control. So let's add a, uh, a node, uh, I mean net network box here, and call it a scale. 
scale controls okay uh, we'll be tweaking this uh, in the uh, in the future uh, parts uh, because we cannot we if we want to change change some something um, or on the uh, on the uh, scale or the appearance of the of the grass plates we can do it here okay <coughs> I think we'll keep it like uh, point, uh, 0.8 because it is uh, getting too uh, too small. Okay, now it is good. Uh, now, if you look at the uh, grass plate with texture, that is how it looks. Now we need to add add one more thing before we uh, go uh, export this grass into Unreal. So we need to apply uh, vertex colors. So why am I using vertex colors? So vertex colors are used to basically get the uh, the wind movement on the grass blades so uh, as for the material we'll be uh, i'll be creating in unreal we, we're using a, a, a vertex a vertex color node to uh, to create the movement so for that i'll be using green color as the, the basic color so how do we apply this uh, into it so we had to apply one uh, vertex color node so for for that one what we need to do is first i'm going to, going to turn off the textures so we can get a better bit of uh, better view of the uh, colors also i'm just going into unlit mode so this is the uh disable lighting button disable lighting so i'm just seeing it as uh, unlit okay now <coughs> now now uh, you need to apply one more uh attribute randomized node after this so take out this and press tab attribute randomize so as i was saying before uh, when you uh, when you apply um, this attribute randomize by default you will see uh, this attribute name as cd so cd is for color um, i don't know why they use cd uh, but Houdini uses this uh, this attribute for all the color you know randomizing and and all those stuff uh, so in this case uh, we just need the green color uh, so how will i get green <coughs> excuse me so these are actually the all the uh, x y z uh, num numbers you can give so if i give min min value as one for this for x min value as one for y and one for z you will get white because this is like rgb it's like x y z or you can say rgb min value max value so uh, i want to keep this this uh, red and blue as uh, as zero so red zero minimum maximum also zero and this is zero and max also zero so so we get pure green so i don't want pure green if it is pure green all grass will move the same uh, same the same way so i want to get some randomization on this so i'm just going to give it like 0.1 as a mean value and max is like one now we're getting a random color across all the grass uh, grass blades so this is the this will work even if you have 100 grass blades in uh, in in one bunch so there is no manual work everything is uh, handled by houdini itself no uh, no how do you get it randomized now now go to options tab here and when you click click on this global seed you can get like uh, unlimited random values so it doesn't matter which uh, uh, which colors you get. So set some some value here as a global seed, and you can pr proceed. So this one, I'll just move it down slightly and uh, give it a separate. Uh, what's it called again? Network box and name it vertex uh, color. Now, if you want to bring back the uh, uh, the texture, now now if I go into output, you are not seeing any textures, right? So, go into uh, go into this check checker box pattern here. Uh, display materials and objects. Right click and activate te te uh, textures and deactivate geometry color. So that is how you see the textures in the viewport. And go into uh, high quality lighting mode. There you go. So you got the grass blades with vertex colors applied, and you are ready to export now. Now we already set up the OBJ exporter here. Click on export OBJ and click on save to disk. That's it. Done. 
now um, I'm going to open Blender. Uh, sorry, I opened Blender some a, a while back. So let it load. Give me a second. Uh, okay, now you can just hide these. We don't need this right now. Now uh, go to File, Import, Wavefront OBJ, and go into Blender folder. And that will be the new uh, grass blade we just exported from Houdini. Uh, go into shade smooth so we can get a, at least like nice uh, shaded look now what i will do is uh, i'll go into uh, un unlit mode it's a, it's a flat color and uh, when you now you won't see the vertex colors now when i go into uh, vertex paint uh, before that i need to check something so go into attributes or data and check color attributes so it it, it already imported uh, something called color so this is the vertex color that got imported with with the uh, obj so this is a this this is actually a special case i don't know why but blender imports this uh, this uh, vertex color data from Houdini without any problem uh, i cannot do this in unreal when i import this to unreal it won't work so when i go into vertex paint mode you can see that the same colors are being transferred to blender so that is about exactly what we need. So when you randomize it in Houdini, re-import it, it just imports it just like this. Okay. Now from this um, Blender, uh, I'll just uh, save save it under Blender. Just type uh, grass HDA maybe zero one. Save. Now I'll just. Say, export this uh, as a uh, FBX so select this uh, mesh here go into file export FBX and yeah you have to turn on some uh, some options here so Unreal Engine I'm actually going to uh, export it as grass HDA is around FBX I'm just going to delete this because that's an old old file so I'm going to name it as uh, Grass HDA uh, Blender export. Just to know that you know this is a, f a correct file when I'm importing it, and uh, limit to selected objects because I have selected, selected this, this grass here, so that is good. Then uh, make sure that there is the vertex color is on. On. Um, so where is the vertex color? So go to geometry. Uh, apply modifiers, uh, export subdivisions or surface, uh, vertex colors. So it is on. I think it's on by by default. So sRGB is good. Now export FBX. So we exported this uh, FBX from Blender to Unreal. Now in Unreal, uh, I'll be so I just use this. Uh, okay, so I just want to uh, give give you a, a small intro about how I made this landscape. So this is just a, a, a really simple uh, landscape I imported from Gaia. So this is uh, this is a, a Gaia. This is a um, uh, you know uh, uh, height map landscape terrain editor. Uh, so this is a f uh, this is a free program. Actually, uh, you can go for the commercial version, but what I have is a free free version just like uh, Houdini. Uh, but the only limitation is that uh, after you create a landscape in this, you can actually use all the tools uh, to create landscape. But here in this case, mine is a really simple one. Uh, once you create it, uh, you can you, you you can export um, this landscape as a um, as a height map. But since it's a free version, the the maximum size allowed is one uh, k. So the resolution is like one k. Anything above. 1K because if I uh, if I choose the 2048 by 2048, it will uh, it, it, it will export a watermark with it. So I don't want to see any watermark. I haven't tried it like how it looks like, uh, but I just exported uh, 1K. 1K is enough for me because it is just a test. It is not a any you know a portfolio piece or anything. So export this as a uh, as a PNG, and import this as a as a height map into uh, into Unreal. Unreal landscape. So that's uh, I mean that's that's pretty much it for the landscape. It is very simple. I don't even have a material on it, so I don't plan to do it now. Uh, so in Unreal, 
uh, we are going to import the uh, the the geometry we just exported from Blender. So uh, I'm I made some uh, folders here. So textures is like uh, I imported the textures I was showing you before, which I made in uh, Substance the de Designer, and under meshes, just import this import to game. Um, so where is it uh, under Blender? Oh, this is blender import so i don't know where i exported it okay i'll i'll uh export again i just create a folder here mm, no leave it don't create a folder so file uh file export so sorry for that because i had to uh, select the f folder properly okay so this is uh, i have it on in my external hard drive yeah, I just use Blender. That's actually good. Uh, Blender export FBX. Okay. Like exporting from Blender. So that's the one. Import it. Now, um, <coughs> so there's a really important uh, setting here. Uh, when you're importing uh, from uh, from Blender the uh, F FBX, always remember to keep this option as replace because if you if, if you keep it as ignore, it will not import the vertex colors. So keep it as replace. So normal import method, import normals, or you can actually compute normals. So, so keep it in compute because if you if you import it, if you don't have any smoothing groups, it won't generate it. So keep it at, as compute normals just to be on the safe side. The rest is good. Mm, I'm not going to create a material, so I'm I'll be creating material myself. If do not create material, then uh, import. So no no smoothing group was uh, was found. That is fine. I don't have to worry about it. I'm just saving it. Now open a mesh. In the mesh editor. So this is how it looks. Uh, we just uh, we just need to check the, if the uh, vertex colors came through. So there there's an option for it. Going to show vertex colors yes uh, we got it so that's a very uh, neat neat thing to do um, so the mesh that that we imported from blender it carries all the vertex colors we uh, export from houdini this is how you basically bring uh, vertex colors from houdini into unreal you cannot bring it directly uh, from the houdini um, apprentice but you can you can do this uh, as a workaround blender then unreal okay so that is good uh, now i will apply the material on this so we will learn about the uh, material uh, in the uh, in the next part of this video so what did we learn in this video um, so we learned how to uh, how to uh, how to apply uh, a randomized uh, scale value depending on the position of the uh, of the grass blade now if you if you if you take it as a circle uh, on the on the circle where the grass is located it is it will be it'll be taken as a as a gradient from the midpoint towards outside okay so that is the gradient value we used a attribute triangle and also we learned about a vex script how to use a vex script to uh, to control this uh, scale value then, then we we use an attribute adjust float to uh, to adjust the, uh, the 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 min and the and, and the max value using uh, an an attribute called p scale. And then we learned about vertex color, how to apply vertex color to the uh, to the mesh. Then using uh, using copy to points and a material, uh, we are uh, we exported this geometry into uh, into Blender. Then in Blender. Uh, there's nothing much because it imports all the vertex colors, so you don't have to do anything manually. Then just export this uh, as FBX uh, into uh, Unreal and import this mesh into Unreal. Uh, so that is pretty much it uh, for this part. So for the next part, what we'll do is we'll create a material inside Unreal, and then uh, then we'll apply the wind effect on it. Uh, then after that, uh, we will create a very simple PCG graph. Uh, and use the PCG tool to uh, to spawn the grass 
uh, in Unreal. Okay. Uh, see you guys in the uh, next video. Thanks for watching.